Brad, we're here on Valentine's Day, and you have a little member appreciation event going on. Tell us about it. Well, I wish I could say I'm the one who put this together, but it was really uh, everybody else but me who helped put this together. But um, wonderful idea of, of helping uh, recognize some of the new members who've come in here and, and just get, getting our word out in the community a little bit about who Maine Charitable Mechanic Association is. And what, do, uh, what does membership entail here? What do you get for your membership? Well, among other things is the use of, of a member library, which is uh, really remarkable. Anybody who hasn't seen this before should stop in sometime on the Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays of the weeks that, that the library is open from 10 to 3. Um, but it's a way to get to check out books without having to wait, popular books without the kind of wait you might have at other libraries. It also, as, as our wonderful librarian Pat will tell you, the eighth oldest member library in the country. Um, in addition to that, the uh, uh, Pat and Donna and Beverly and, and Reggie put together some uh, fabulous programs, book uh, club meetings that are uh, held monthly. Uh, a lot of times when the author will actually come in and read from uh, his or her own book, um, many other events. And of course my favorite are, are the travel log lectures that Maine Charitable puts on. And you have one of those coming up, right? There is one coming up on Monday the 24th of February. And that one is going to be on the QE2 cruising the Orient. And uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Well, Brian, that's a really good question. Um, this is the QE2 is, is one of the premier cruise ships in the industry. Very, very well respected from the Cunard lines. Um, this particular cruise um, uh, is um, by Doug Jones, who's a photographer uh, known throughout the world. Uh, Doug hopped on the QE2 in Australia uh, and stayed aboard for 40 days, 40 nights. Um, went through Melbourne, Sydney, Perth, Australia, um, over to Bali, up through Manila, the Philippines, through Japan, parts of China, Hong Kong, uh, Vietnam, Singapore. Fascinating journey through the uh, 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 parts of uh, the Far East. And, and uh, so that's coming up on Monday the 24th. The lectures, of course, take place at Catherine McCauley High School Auditorium, which is on Stevens Avenue, Outer Stevens Avenue. They start at 7.30 p.m. They run about two hours. The cost, if you, if you are a member, um, they are free. With your $25 membership fee, you get two tickets, tickets for two people to each of the lectures. If you're not a member, you can come in for $5. You can bring your whole family for $15. Now, it's really interesting. We've, of course, been doing travel lectures now for over 100 years. This is our 101st season. I was thinking about it here recently. I've been going to them for almost half that time, over 50 years I've been attending. And when I was a little kid, I used to go with my parents and grandparents, and it really influenced my desire to travel. I've traveled throughout Central America, Africa, and all of that I can relate back to going to these lectures as a kid and, and seeing the world on, on films. For $15, it's kind of hard to get family entertainment where you can really have a meaningful impact on your kids. And maybe you've been to some of these areas before and would like to see them again, or whatever the case might be, um, we really recommend them as, as a, a fun thing to do. And if people want more information about the association or membership, where can they go? They can contact the Maine Charitable Mechanic Association. Um, Pat and Donna are here during the week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 to 3. We're right across from the Maine College of Art, beautiful building on the corner of Casco, beautiful historic building on the corner of Casco and Congress Street.